Hello and welcome to the third video tutorial for Biva. In the last video we created this box and we learned how to combine different joint types in one assembly. As you can see here I have dovetail joint for the side and the bottom edges but I have created the cap using a lap joints all around it. And if you remember the way we did it was we to actually label the edges and then use those labels um, to assign different joint types to the edges of the assembly. So here we had like um, uh, for edge number 0, 2, 3, one type of joint which was a lap joint and for edge number 1 we had a different type of joint. It was a lap joint but with different configuration. So in this video, I'm going to introduce you a new way of doing this because this could potentially be problematic when you have so many edges and they're reading the labels from the edges um, and then put them into the, the panels and so on could be frustrating if you have like more than 100 edges that you want to do differently. So um, there is a nice tool in Biba that you can actually pick the edges just like you pick any objects in Rhino and then assign it to a joint type. And that is here under um, PPS tools again. And you can see a component called edge selection. So let's see how it works. An edge selection component needs the planar poly surface, which is our sketch here. So I'm going to feed that into my edge selection component and then you can simply uh, right click on this component and choose select edges from the menu and then the grasshopper uh, uh, canvas is minimized and it lets you to select the edges that you want to actually filter and as you can see if I go over each edge here I can see a and highlighted yellow line which indicates where which edges I'm going to select. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the edges that I want to be that I want to treat it with a lap joint just by making a um, sort of window selection from here. And now that these edges turn to blue, this means they are selected. And I don't want the edges in the middle. To get rid of those edges, you can simply hold the control key and then select those edges in the middle to deselect them. Now I have only the um, outer edges of the top face uh, which I want to use it for uh, the lap joint. And also if you remember we use a different joint type for this edge on the right so we can also remove that from selection by simply holding the control key and then clicking on it. And when we are done with our selection, we just simply right click, we're back into Grasshopper. So now the edge selection component gives me the labels of those edges. And this, uh, obviously, you can see uh, by selecting the component, you can see which edges, is, uh, which edges are filtered by this um, component. And then I can simply add it to the, my uh, joint type component. The same thing we can do for this edge. Just copy paste the edge selection, right click and select edges. Go there, pick the edge which you want. Right click, come back to Grasshopper, fit that into your um, joint component. Although this approach seems to be much easier and obviously it's more practical to use um, edge selection, uh, but also it has still the issue with re-indexing the edges when the geometry or the topology of the geometry changes. We still have other solutions which we're going to talk about them in the next video. Thank you for watching.